Lowry versus Thomas. The matchup, no doubt, the Jets won, and we are underway. This St. Louis team has lost three of four after winning eight of ten. The next goal will be a career high. Now a chance for Pionk. Shoots it right on. Rebound. Puck cleared from the blue ice as Hofer couldn't squeeze it. That's why this fourth line has been pretty dominant these last three games. This is a dominant fourth line grind shift. Uh, you go from high to low or low to high. Domestikov. Knocked down on the play by Sunfist. Hops right back up for Benny in battle for that puck. And trying to get it again along with Barrett. Back to the line. Domestikov snaps it through. And that puck changed direction. That hit Letty. And he is stung, and it was held by Hover. Each has good speed. Robert Thomas, good break up there by DeMello. That pass intended for Butchnevich. Picked up by Connor, but he can't get it out. Kairou, his pass, he got it back right to the backhand. Stopped by Brassois. Nikolai Eaters into a triangle of blues. By a follow with a shot, he just missed. DeMello at the blue line. Around for Josh Morrissey. Fires it! Big rebound off the stick saved by Hover. Morrissey will cut into that one again. Nikolai Ehlers straight down the boards. Good pass to Monik! And he shoots and scores! A tremendous tee up from Ehlers, and Monahan's 19th has the Jets on the board. Clean breakout out of their own zone, and Ehlers draws three guys to him, so he makes the initial pass to Hyatt Fallow, who gets a nice shot off. And speaking of nice shots, how about that beautiful pass? Two guys again, eyes on Ehlers, and the BB to the top corner for Monahan, who's back. I, I think that if you would ask Monahan or even Rick Bonus, I, I don't know that he would have had trouble, trouble finding the score sheet, but as far as the, the offense that he created, he hit a couple of posts and he was in the right area, so. Dylan fires and scores! Brandon Dillon with a career high seventh goal, and just like that, it's 2 0 Winnipeg. Beautiful job on the faceoff. That's a clean win, and Brendan Dillon is ready to release. And what a shot that was! It was 88 miles an hour. The accuracy to the top corner doesn't hit the score sheet often. That's the seventh of the season, 16th point, and quickly the Jets now have. And dumped in by Thomas. Now Cairo will delay just a bit. That shot trickled wide. Butch Davis will pump it in behind the net, and around it goes to Thomas. Cairo, good pass. Butch Davis. That was redirected. Wrap around. Brossois got over. It may have hit the post or his skate. Scandella with a wrist shot. Rebound. They score. Butch Davis on the goal mouth. The Blues really needed that one. His 23rd cuts it to two to one. Shift in the top line for St. Louis comes out after giving up the second goal of the game, and they just get right to work in the offensive zone. They attack the net from below the goal line. A beautiful save from Brassois initially, but the rebound was never controlled. And then I talked about the sharp shooting of Buchnevich. He's lurking all around. Another shot coming at Brassois. Rebound. And you can feel that desperation in the, in the Blues game, right? Winning two of just their last six, but they won seven of their previous eight. They're, they're a team to be contended with. Pareko, that's tipped in front. Brassois had to be steady there as Krug went to the net. Shot that, low in front, Shackley shot, stop. Connor gets to the rebound, Bellardi wants it. That pass was ticketed for him, but knocked away by Sad, and now Kappen in the other way. You hear the Blues bench, young three. Bad change, St. Louis. Here comes Kyle Connor, shoots it, scores! Connor with his 24th, and once again the lead is two. Transitional play all started with number 44. Gaps up, creates the turnover, and quickly gets the puck northward to Kyle Connor. Catches the St. Louis Blues in a sloppy change, and right there at the last minute, he just avoids the poke check from Pareko and in stride, the sharpshooter low to the far post. With that 3 1 victory, and lead after one period of play, I should say, looking for their seventh victory in eight games, and period two is underway now. Called in by Perfetti, zips it over, Nikolai Ehlers, backdoor, Perfetti, inner rider, big stop by Hofer, fine passing, but Hofer with his best for the night. But there's five on five hockey, look at the cutback from Ehlers and the vision right there to Perfetti, and speaking of vision, Perfetti, who hasn't had a point in 13 games, you think he might shoot that, but he looks for the right play, Niederreiter's got a stick loose in the gut of the ice, that is a fantastic tic-tac-toe play, and Hofer says no on that. Abbott knocks it down, set it right on net. And it bounced to Letty. He'll send it ahead to Kairou. 
He's got Puchnevich driving the goal. Puchnevich shot. Big stop by Brassois. And he'll hang on. The team from St. Louis. And what a fantastic job from Brassois here. Not easy. You have to first honor the shot. And he does. And then that lower leg strength pushed side to side makes the save. In one. That's a good shift by the forefront. Yeah, a good shift in Nemestikov at the forefront of it. He can play any role that you need to, him to play. And the way he navigates the puck, holds on to pucks at the right times and makes the right play. Jen centering pass, that almost went in, and that one does. Broken play, Sad was in front. He slaps it in, and it's 3-2 to two Winnipeg. Knocked away by Brossois, picked up there by Kairou, as St. Louis tries to tie. Thomas fires, stop, rebound, Brossois got a ball, and he draws a whistle as the side of the net area is cleared. Having an excellent season in St. Louis, potential future captain. Look at this, into the eyes of Brassois, a little tip, and then he stands his ground to get a good second whack at this one. How about Brassois? Low body strength galore. That is. Back for DeMello. Works it over the wing to Lowry. Appleton sends it through, tipped by Niederreiter. Bouncing puck, swat in that play, ball. Eventually, that will roll. Niederreiter, but. Nino just says, you know, I think there's a better recipient for this one as he jumps over that puck, leaves it, and goes straight to the net. Now Appleton doesn't let him down. I Apollo trying to dark pass Perutovic. Swept around by Scandella. And a tackle pass right to I Apollo. And he is robbed by Holfer, who just bailed out his defenseman. Just one assist in his last 19, but he's had five shots in his last two and multiple shots in this game, and they've come from this area, the cut of the ice, and look at that. Ehlers draws so much attention to him. Thomas says, but buzzing Lowry in a fight earlier in this game with the captain of the Blues, Brayton Shen, and the third period is underway on that power play opportunity. Time winding down in the penalty. Jets back in. That was the only shot that came late here. For Penny Sittering. Oh, that just stayed out. Hofer got a piece of that bouncing puck. Thomas ahead for Butchnevich. He'll serve it ahead, but right onto the stick of Morrissey. He drives it right back into the zone. Monahan goes after it along with Perunovic. Monahan to Nikolai Ehlers. Right in front, and he just missed. And they score! to the net in it goes he breaks his slump and it's 4-2 Winnipeg it's just a matter of time from the quality chances this line but even I have followed that he's had some inner slot shots how about the fancy footwork from Nikolai Ehlers that is spectacular the way he can pull out of that goes backwards to forwards quick hands quick feet shot rebound and I have followed you can always find them near the net around the net in the gut of the ice 10-29 Sean Monaghan with his first assist as a Winnipeg Jet Looking for another victory would be their seventh. In their last eight. Here's a chance right off the post by Bolduc. Like I mentioned, to Zach Bolduc, who was right there, just out of your screen, a beautiful pass out of the corner. And that one, I thought it was high, but right off of the crossbar and out. If you got some elite skill out there, Nemestikov is digging pucks loose. Profetti all around the net. Turnover, Nemestikov, and he put it off the. Love it looked like Hofer got a piece as one of the Jets went crashing. There is a Jet in that net. Well, Vlad Nemestikov, surprisingly, ha has not had a point in 11 games, but he's been so consistent in the way that he plays. He does things like this regularly. He ends the shift. Backup goaltenders usually spend all the extra time after practices to give the other players shots that they need. Never complains. Like what Craig Button said in the intermission, might be the best backup goalie in the league. He makes another save as Shen was denied. Speeding toward the line, Butch Davis, he'll take it back. Tyru in front, it's worked around on the half boards, and Shen. Shen to the goal line, set out front of the net. Francois, very strong shot. He stopped that with two from Thomas. 36 of 38 shots, and there's the last of them. A rash in through traffic, makes the save. There is a rebound. And just trying to clear. Chen walks, lost the puck, knocked away by DeMello, three seconds, that goes wide, and the Jets hang on to beat the Blue.